Hey everybody out there, this is Seto, and today for you guys, we are going to be opening up Yugi's Legendary Decks. Yes, I'm so excited about this, and how fitting is it that I'm actually doing this opening on uh, a Seto Kaiba playmat? <laughs> I guess you technically could say that I stole these from Yugi Moto. <laughs> I stole Yugi Moto's decks. Um, but yes, I really like this thing. Um, as many of you guys know, I'm an old school player at heart. So when I saw that these were coming, this was coming out a couple months ago. I've been, I was like, oh gosh, I gotta get this. This is so awesome because the fact of the matter is, you get the old, um, you get the freaking tokens pretty much that are like. A set sail for the kingdom, uh, kingdom, the hand of the king, uh, the token. You get some of the dark revival, dark magician support. You get Exodia as an ulti. You get Akana's dark magician. I mean, I couldn't pass this up as an old school player. This is so awesome, and the box itself is really, really cool looking. And I'll probably use it for storage for some of my Yu-Gi-Oh decks. But um, yeah, I I'm super excited to open this up, guys. So without further ado, let's get cracking. And um. I will admit, guys, that as I went to the store today, I got so excited I actually brought two of these because I'm super excited. And I also brought a Saga of the Blue Eyes because I, there was one laying around for 10 bucks, And I said, you know what? Probably in the future, sometimes next year, we will open this up uh, to celebrate the Blue Eyes support. So, yeah, we may open that up in the future, uh, the Saga of the Blue Eyes structure deck for you guys because we all love Blue Eyes here on this channel. Uh, but, yes... Also, as I open this up, I will talk about something I was thinking about, and if you guys would like to see it, uh, give this video a whole bunch of likes then. If this video gets like maybe 50, 60 likes, I'll do it. I'll try to do it. I don't know when I'll do it, but I'll try to do it. Um, I'll try, mind you. Uh, but I was thinking about maybe having some duels between the Gadget deck and Battle City deck and Yugi's Exodia deck. Um, which would be really, really cool. I mean, the decks, it would be some slow duels, so I don't know if I'd be able to record the entire duel, but yeah, we cut something cool to see, maybe. But yes, I love the fact that they got, uh, so they got Yugi and they got the Pharaoh of Tim. Um, really, really cool artwork here. As you can see here, we get our promos, so let's open up our promos here. This is so awesome. I'm not joking. I haven't opened it like a Yu-Gi-Oh product in a long time like this, which is really awesome. The smell of new cards. Oh, I love that smell. So we got Electric Magnetic Turtle. This is a really cool card I've seen used in multiple decks. It may be a little bit late, but it's still a very good card. Um, we got Dark Renewal, and we got Black Illusion. A Dark Renewal especially can be used in a lot of different decks, uh, even the Pendulum Magicians maybe, but... I really can't wait to use this card and this card maybe in Dark Magician, especially this card. This card's okay, but this card really helps the Dark Magician deck out as well. So let's move this up here, and we'll set these promo cards down here, guys. Let me zoom out a little bit. Ah, there we go. So we'll set the promos down here. And then we got Set Sail for the... Oh my gosh, so many promos. Then we got Set Sail, set sail for the Kingdom, which is so awesome. I've been wanting this card to come out for so long over here in the TCG. Just as a token, I mean, it's so awesome. It's so badass. And now we got it. Then we got Duelist Kingdom. Then we got Glory of the King's Hand. So I guess I'm going to Duelist Kingdom. By the way, if you didn't know in the original show, there was actually a fourth one of these. And it was just a blank one. And it was supposed to mean that when Pegasus defeated you in the final match, he was going to take your soul. And guess what they made? They made one with Yugi Moto's picture on it, or a Tim's picture on it. So I guess Pegasus has got a, got a Tim's soul. <laughs> that was a joke I made. One of my friends made to me. I know it's very bad, but yes, these are really awesome. So we got set sail for the kingdom. Uh, I'm going to put the box over here so we can look at all the cool promos. Set sail for the kingdom. We got Duelist Kingdom and Glory of the King's Hand. We got the awesome Atim this token. Then we got three of the God cards. Uh, you can't use these in duels, but it's, they're really cool. And they're very collectible. I've always loved them and used them. So we got all that. So let's go with the original Exodia deck. <gasps> oh my gosh. It's Exodia. Obliterate my blue eyes white dragons. No! Oh my gosh. He, he summoned the unstoppable Exodia. Oh my gosh, he summoned the unsummable Exodia. My grandpa has no pathetic cards, Kaiba. 
<laughs> oh my gosh. So we got Exodia's head. We got the right leg of Exodia as an ulti. The left leg of Exodia as an ulti. The right arm of Exodia as an ulti. Let, let's, let's summon Exodia. Or we could be like Weevil Underwood and be like, Say goodbye to your Exodia pieces, Yugi! Oh my gosh, that was a horrible Weevil Underwood. And you know what uh, uh, Exodia has in the center here? He has a little D. <laughs> if you get the reference of that old card, little D, you understand. But something cool some of you guys may not know about this. Exodia originally came out in the same exact rarity as an ulti, uh, ultimate. excuse me, And it hasn't been printed in a long time, I think, it, since the original Legend of Blue Eyes as an ulti. So that's really, really cool. Then we got our BLS for a BLS deck. We got Black Luster Soldier Lust uh, Envoy of the Beginning as a common, which I never thought I would live to see the day as this card being a common. Uh, we got Dark Magician, the original artwork, which I think should have been a hollow, by the way, but whatever. Uh, we got Dark Magician Girl as a common. Gaia, the Fierce Knight. Oh my gosh, the, the nostalgia here, guys. Such a good card. Summon Scar, the original beat stick of the Yu-Gi-Oh! Hierarchy. Uh, I'm not joking. This used to be the card, the best card in Yu-Gi-Oh for a long time. You just tribute besides Jinzo, best card. Uh, Curse of Dragon, an awesome card because you can use this in Gaia and Fusion to make Gaia the Dragon Champion. Catapult Turtle with the Errata, not as good as the original. Celtic Guardian, <laughs> oh my gosh, this is taking me back to like the day I opened up the original Structure deck. Wing Dragon <laughs> Guardian of the Fortress, Furl Imp. Beaver Warrior. Oh my gosh, I'm going back in time. Griffor. This is the first time we've ever got Griffor over here in the TCG. It took them how many years? Uh, about four, about 12 years, 13 years to get Griffor over here finally. This card's never had a, a, a print over here, but, so let's read its uh, flavor text. Griffor. This monster's tough hide deflects almost any attack. Yeah, that 1,500 defense, boy. Mystical Elf for defense. A giant Soldier of Stone. By the way, Giant Soldier of Stone, back in the day, actually be, used to be an amazing card. Uh, it had 1,300 attack. That was the most, like, the biggest defense and the most attack a, a monster could have back in the day. Um, Mammoth Graveyard. This thing with uh, Shattering Arrow did some amazing things in the anime. Karibo, my hairy balls. Uh, Monster Reborn. Swords of Revealing Light. Uh, Myst Mystical Box, actually a good card. Brain Control. <laughs> uh, Monster Recovery, wow. When was the last time I saw that card? Spell Shattering Arrow, a good card. Horn of the Unicorn. <laughs> Mystical Moon that can apparently, you, you can raise the oceans when you play Umi on the field. <laughs> when you play Mako Tsunami. <laughs> Burning Land. Uh, Multiply. Detonate. Maki Yu for Summon Skull. Polly. Black Luster Ritual, Mirror Force, good card still, Magical Hats, Eye of Truth, Broken, uh, Shift, and Gaia, the Dragon Champion. Such a good card. I'm so, I love this card so much. <laughs> Back in the day. Oh my gosh. Let's go into the Battle City deck now. Where's the tab? Where's the tab? Come here, tab. Oh my gosh. Where's the tab? Oh, there's the tab. This is so exciting, guys. I'm not joking. I'm having so much fun opening this up. Oh, the smell of old cards that are new. <laughs> we got Valka, Valkyrie, the the Magnet Warrior. This came out like a game promo, I remember, originally back in the day. Uh, Arcana, the Dark... Ma oh, my gosh. Dark Magician Arcana, the artwork. So freaking awesome. Ah! He flew off the thing. He's so awesome. How long have I waited for this card to come out? Thank you, Kunami. Uh, we got Dark Magician. Girl, I love her. I love this artwork almost as much as I love the original artwork. I actually may swap, swap it out for this because this looks so badass. Because it's her, it's her full body picture. Uh, Swords are in view light as an ulti. All right. <laughs> I'm going to put that over here to the side. Or down there, I guess. Uh, Mirror Force is an ulti. Awesome, I guess. Buster Blader. Archfiend Gilfer, Jack's Knight, King Queen's Knight, King's Knight, 
I, I was wondering why the fusion of all three is actually not in the uh, Battle City deck, but whatever. Belfort, Guy, Gazelle, the King of Mythical Beast. I'm sorry. Alpha, Beta, Gamma, <laughs> Big Shield Gardener. Oh, yeah, that defense. And Karibo. Karibo's got to be in everything, guys, right? Monster Reborn. Dark cur mag Magical Curtain. A lot of you guys ask me why I don't run this. Eh, it's an okay card. I like it, though. Thousand Knives. <laughs> Magician's Formula. Magical Dimension is such an awesome card in the Dark Magician deck still. Diffusion Wave Motion. Double Spell. Ectoplasm. Oh my gosh, this card. Soul Taker. I remember this card used to be a side deck and a main deck card back in the day. Pot of Greed. <laughs> Who doesn't like the weed? Draw two. Shortest text in Yu-Gi-Oh! history. Draw two. And a staple card at that. Card Destruction. Exchange. Monster Recovery again, Polymerization, Defusion, Multiply Those Hairy Balls, <laughs> Magical Hats, Magical Cylinders, Busted! Busted! <laughs> How many games I've won with Magical Cylinders still to this day? Uh, Spellbinding Circle, Light Force Sword, he got this when he, uh, the day he went on a date with Taya. Chain Destruction, this is how you beat Exodia. Soul Rope, Tragedy, reminds me of that movie, The Shining, I think it is, or, uh, not The Shining, I forget which movie it is, but yeah, it's based off that. And Chimera, The Flying Mythical Beast. Awesome. Let's get to the Gadget deck. Uh, he used this deck when he faced Atira, uh, a Tim in the final duel, but this is pretty much a mixture of uh, a Tim's deck, apparently, and, um... A Tim and, I guess you could say, him in general, a uh, Yugi's deck. So we got uh, Magician of Black Chaos. Awesome. This card was so awesome back in the day, just to summon this card. Then we got the new Arata of Dark Magician of Chaos. Pretty much, I think this means that Dark Magician of Chaos is coming off the ban list. I look forward to seeing what your um, Yugi Mation does when uh, Yugi Mation, who does the animation stuff for like the band camp, band camp and whatnot, what he does when this uh, comes off the ban list. Who's going to be the new protagonist? Then we got Silent Magician Level 8. Great card from back in the day. Dark Magician. I think this should have been the original artwork. And... Um, you know, should have had the hollow treatment, but whatever. Gold Sark. The ultimate version of this card actually used to be a show and jump prize card back in the day, so we finally get a reprint of it in Ulti. Uh, Gandora, the Dragon of Destruction. He used this to beat uh, Bukura. Silent Magician, level 4. Silent Swordsman, level 7. Silent Swordsman, level 4. Silent Swordsman, level 3. I may actually just build a Silent Swordsman deck because of these cards. I just wish Rhoda wasn't at three. I mean, at one. Maybe not. Dark Magician Girl. This is the original artwork that came out of the uh, one of the tins back in the day. Really cool artwork. I really like it. It's one of my favorite. I love Dark Magician. I love Dark Magician and Dark Magician Girl, even though I love Blue Eyes. Buster Blader. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It's upside down because it's a th it's the tricky I guess he had to be upside down because he's the tricky. He's just so tricky. <laughs> uh, Jack's Knight. Queen's Knight. King's Knight. I actually have an ulti of this card, which is awesome. Green Gadget. Red Gadget. Yellow Gadget. Go in court for 40. Skilled Dark Magician. Skilled White Magician for your Buster Blader. Uh, Block Man. <laughs> Legos. <laughs> Legos! Marshmulan. Too Broken. Karibos, more hairy balls. <laughs> Monster Reborn. Silent Swordsman. Cards of Sanctity is so broken in the anime, but it sucks in real life. Polly. Dark Magic Attack. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesomeness. Magic Magicians Unite. Dedication through Light and Darkness. Pretty cool card. Uh, Black Magician Ritual. Uh, trick Spell 4. Emblem of the Dragon Destroyer. This is cards actually going up in price because of the new BLS support or the new archetype, I guess you could say. Really, really good card. It's pretty much like Rhoda. Marshmallow and Glasses. If you ever get that playoff when you equip this to Marshmallow, God, uh, God help you. God hate you too. Um, I'm sorry, I'm having fun here, guys. <laughs> Mirror Force. 
Magician's Circle, a good, good card, really, from back in the day. I used this back with Visionary. Shattering Axe, Stronghold of the Moving Fortress, uh, Magical Resonator, and Dark Paladin. This is the first time this card's ever got a common reprint. It should have been a hollow, but whatever. Good, good card. You'll definitely need this for your Dark Magician deck, guys. So, guys, uh, these are all the hollows pretty much you get. So awesome. Uh, as you can tell, I had a lot of fun opening this up. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. So I'm super excited about this. By the way, guys, if I didn't mention earlier, I did buy um, the Saga of the Blue Eyes, which we're probably going to open up later on to celebrate the Blue Eyes support that's come out, you know, been announced, and it's going to be coming out later this next year, I guess you could say. Um, so, yeah, we're opening this up at a later date, but... Yes, guys, I would highly suggest if you're an old school player, just spend the 30 bucks, treat yourself to a Christmas present or Hanukkah or Kwanzaa or, you know, whatever, um, and go buy this for yourself because this is such an amazing, cool thing for us old school players. And I wish Konami would do more of this, but yeah, it's awesome. And the box is actually not that bad. It's, it's made of solid car cardboard, so you can actually store your decks in this. So it's really cool. I plan to definitely do that. Uh, Maybe I'll store blue eyes and dark magician and red eyes in one of these. <laughs> but yeah, till next time, guys. Take care. Have fun dueling. Good luck dueling. I hope you all enjoy this opening. And uh, if, the, if TCG player is watching or anybody out there that is, sells cards, yeah, I would love to do more of these openings. But yeah, take care, everybody. Good luck dueling to all of you. And Exodia beats blue eyes. Take care, everybody.